it's been a minute since I've posted on this channel. I just wanted to, to say what's up. How's everyone? I want to give you an update of what I'm doing and some lessons that I've learned um, in the past like month or two. Um, number one, um, zoom out. Look at your life situation with your family, like your, your work, um, maybe f romantic life, whatever. Look into those areas of your life and ask yourself truly, is there any tension or is there any of those aspects of these parts of my life that I do not enjoy or do not correlate with what I value? And what I mean by that is, do you disagree and or are you unhappy with some things? I want you to zoom out and ask yourself that, honestly. And I'm no wizard, but most of the time, there probably is some part of your life um, that you're unhappy about. Now, I want you to, to zoom out again um, and ask if you're actively having these struggles or these disagreements or these unhappiness or these unalignments in your life. What is keeping you in that situation? And what is making you tolerate a situation that you know you're not necessarily happy in or as against your core values? What is making you tolerate being in that situation? Is it the fear of moving on? Is it the fear of loss? Maybe the fear of disappointing others? Or maybe it's a mixture of all three plus more. If you're not honest with yourself and if you're not following your intuition and you're taking aspects of your life that you know don't align with what you are as a person and you're tolerating it, each and every time you tolerate it, it takes you further away from clarity of the person you want to be and the lifestyle you want to have and the people you want to be around, etc. The more you tolerate things you know are not in your core values and the things you know that you're unhappy about, the more and more you're going to feel lost and the more and more you're going to be unhappy. That's why individuals who look at jobs their whole life and they go in day in, day out. They tolerate being comfortable. They tolerate individuals that they know are wrong in their core belief, but they still move forward with anyways because of fear of loss, a fear of losing security, etc. But the issue is, is if an individual sits in this space too long, like I mentioned before, we get uncomfortable, but you end up accepting and unconsciously going through cycles of ups and downs which takes you in an emotional cycle where you may not be able to sleep at night. You may never be able to actually sit at the end of your day and enjoy the sunset. You be, may always be beating yourself up because of a certain issue in your life and you're never going to be able to actually relax. Think about that. Now, I want you guys to, to zoom out more. Um, if you realize it's, it's a fear or if it's uh, fear disappointing, et cetera, it's, it's some sort of fear that's preventing you, right? Dig down and figure out what fear that is. There's many ways you could do it. Now, a perspective I want to offer you that's a little bit off the wall is, is sometimes whenever we're in situations like this, we tend to lose a perspective of like what's 
we are and where we are and what's going on actively, not only in the world, but in the universe, like <laughs> zooming out. Like if you zoom out for a second and if you put all of your problems to the side, if you actually think, um, if you're a flat earther believer or not, or you believe in space and time and continuum, it doesn't matter. Like if, if you zoom out, we are on a minuscule rock floating in the abyss of nothingness. And the reason why it's small, because compared to the size of the universe, it's pretty amazing to think that we are living on this rock, drifting throughout the universe, somehow in orbit with other planets that keep us alive. And if you zoom out a layer further, like, and think, considering that how big the universe is and how many people are in the world, how many problems everyone has, if you zoom out and ask yourself, do these problems, like, really matter? Or am I just creating problems in my own mind because we're naturally conditioned to do so? Zoom out and ask yourself, like, will this problem affect me in five days, two weeks, three months, one year? Like, if you're struggling with something financially or a breakup, et cetera, it's not going to last forever. It's cheesy to say that. It's cheesy to say, hey, keep your head down and just keep on working. But if you look in the grand scheme of things, nothing really matters. Our opinions don't really matter. Nobody's opinions really matter. If you take into consideration um, like how many people are in the world and the universe that we're in. We're just small, minuscule figures in the grand scheme of things. So once you start looking at things like that, and you start realizing that you have the opportunity to do more, make more money, become a better person, grow. All of that's possible once you let go of those fears and those things that you were letting, letting tolerate and you become the person you know you can be and you don't let the opinions and you don't let the thoughts of others get in your own way of doing what you want to do. And once that happens, you're going to feel like there's a chain being ripped off of you, a monkey off of your shoulder. Because you're finally going to be free of other individuals that bring you down unconsciously or consciously. At the end of the day, we got to focus on what we can control. A lot of issues that we have are here. Some of the disagreements we have with our family or our bosses, like, they're here. It's about focusing what we can control. And since we live such a small life, it's probably best to move on and be in a better situation. Take the risk. Make the jump. Because if you never do, then you're going to wonder what happens if... What happens if you did make that jump? Some of the hardest decisions in anyone's life create the biggest breakthroughs. Some of the hardest things and the hardest decisions people have to make create the biggest breakthroughs. Let go of individuals. Let go of objects. Let go of tangible things or untangible things that are holding you back from being the person that you are that you know you can be. If that means becoming your own boss, if that means finding a new group of friends, if that means being single, if that means getting a lot more educated, I drop the ego, drop the fear of others, 
and open up your blind spots to what you don't know. A lot of people spend a lot of their life, a lot of their life, pretending, or not pretending, but they'd rather be right in their own mind than actually seeing the truth. Think about that. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Love you.